Hello everyone, welcome back to Rosé Labrina. This video will be about Haiku Fact Text focused on Iwaoi Valentine Edition Part 3. If you haven't seen the first and the second part, I dropped the link on the description so you can watch it first. As for disclaimer, I only own the idea and story of this video. Haiku and the characters belongs to the author, also the songs, the pictures, and the video background are not mine. Many thanks for you who click on this video. And please don't mind the mistakes and grammatical error because English isn't my first language. And now, please enjoy the story. I hope you like it and continue to give your love on this channel. Iwaizumi glanced at his watch anxiously. The man had been standing in front of his boyfriend's house for about half an hour already. Should Ikawa pick up your phone? He's very worried right now because Oikawa only read his message and didn't reply nor answer his calls. TCH. Iwaizumi sighed at his phone. He glanced again at the clock on his screen and rubbed his hair furiously. Suddenly his phone rang, his eyes lit up as he saw the callers at- Hello? Yes. Oh right there. Okay, thank you so much Andy. He quickly walked towards a flower pot near the front door. Iwaizumi took the spare key underneath the pot, thankfully Oikawa's mother answered his call. He opened the front door and dashed towards the living room. Turu. Iwaizumi shouted loudly, concerned of his boyfriend's safety. He stopped by the sound of TV which hadn't been turned off. 2. He halted his steps as he saw Oikawa slept soundlessly. His boyfriend looked so peaceful, hidden inside thick blanket wrapped around his body. This idiot fell asleep. And here I thought something happened to him. Iwaizumi scooted closer and rubbed Oikawa's face softly. He smiled and wiped the man's troll. My idiot. Iwaizumi cuffed the man's cheeks, then frowned as he saw Oikawa's red eyes. He shook the man gently, waking up his boyfriend. N. Oikawa blinked his eyes open. He groaned and looked at Iwaizumi, dazed. Iwa-chan. Iwaizumi felt his heart beating faster. Oikawa looked dumb but adorable at the same time. But suddenly Oikawa's eyes watered and became glossy, making Iwaizumi panicked. Titoru. Hicks, Iwa-chan. Well, why are you here? A. Oikawa cried harder and hid his face under the blanket. Aren't you, Hicks, cheating on me? Huh? Oh, oi, what are you talking about? You don't love me anymore. Iwaizumi gently pulled the blanket. He gasped inaudibly at his boyfriend's sobbing face. Turu, look at me. And no. Iwaizumi sighed at his boyfriend's stubbornness. He bent his knee, matching Oikawa's eye level. Babe, please tell me what's the problem. I won't know, unless you talk. Please? Oikawa glanced at his boyfriend, because of the tone he's using, very soft like he's afraid to lose him. Iwaizumi looked very concerned, care evident on his face. Please? Oikawa gulped and mumbled softly. I, I saw Yaba's story. Iwaizumi patted Oikawa's back as the man hiccuped and tried to speak clearly. You went on a date with a girl, not going out with Matsun, like what you said. Iwaizumi freeze and put on a confused look. Oikawa bit his lips to mute his sobs. He didn't dare to look at his boyfriend's face, afraid his Iwa-chan would leave him for real. Baby. Please listen to me. Da don't. I, I don't want you to break up with me, Hicks. What? I would never. Love, I never think of anything like that, I promise. Then, you still love me. Of course I am, baby. Now calm down and listen. Oikawa chose to shut his eyes, but his ears are fully expecting Iwaizumi's explanation. Iwaizumi stroked Oikawa's back to relax him and wiped away tears on Oikawa's face with his calloused fingers. First, I'm not cheating on you. Oikawa's hands flinched as he felt another hand on top of his. Second, he's my aunt. Uh, you're not lying right. I'm completely honest right now. I could show you our family photo if you want. Now, Oikawa felt ridiculed by his stupid mind. He went too quick to judge his boyfriend. His cheeks reddened in shame, but he smiled slightly as he felt relieved. At least he knew his accusation was incorrect. You're still my boyfriend. Yes. Oikawa's face lit up. You still love me? Yes baby, yes. Iwaizumi pulled Oikawa into a tight embrace, making Oikawa bald his eyes out, pouring tears of relief. Now then, can you change your clothes so we can go on a date? What? Oikawa eyed his boyfriend from head to toe. He blinked rapidly at Iwaizumi's rare formal appearance. It's the first time Oikawa ever saw that look, he looked sharp and neat. Iwa-chan, why are you wearing a formal attire? Iwaizumi scratched his neck awkwardly. 
Do I look weird? No no no. You look very hot. Iwaizumi blushed at the compliment. But then he glanced at his watch and widened his eyes. He hurriedly lifted up his boyfriend in bridal style and walked towards the man's bedroom. Wala, Iwa-chan. No time to explain, you better hurry for the reservation. Reservation. For what? Iwaizumi rolled his eyes at the man's silly question. I booked a place for our date. Oikawa blushed, he looked at Iwaizumi in disbelief, but also touched. A date. But you said you can't. And now, I can. They arrived in front of the room. Then Iwaizumi put down the men gently, and pushed Oikawa inside. Just change your clothes into something erm, um, presentable. I'll explain, while you prepare. Oikawa closed his hanging mouth, he didn't even realize he's that stunned to hear the news. He quickly went to his wardrobe, and dived to find a suitable clothes. Ugiwa chan You gave me such a short notice. What should I wear? Iwaizumi sighed, and walked towards the man, he lazily glanced at the clothes, and pulled out a suit and vest. Just go find the shirt. Ohoiwa chan matching outfit hop. Huh? Turu okay okay. Iwaizumi smiled at Oikawa's back as his boyfriend was back to normal. More than that, Oikawa seemed genuinely happy and excited for the date. Iwa-chan, while I change into this please explain. All the details. Iwaizumi sighed at Oikawa's silhouette, behind the closet. Well my aunt was the one who recommended the place for our date tonight. I got in because of her connections, because the place was always fully booked. So I went to make reservation with her after I walked you home. Oikawa listened with a guilty face. He shouldn't have trust his dumb thinking. If not, he wouldn't go on a date with swollen eyes. Sorry Iwa-chan, I misjudge you. It's fine Toru, it's my fault for making you insecure and think like that. South. You didn't actually forgot about Valentine's Day. No, of course not. Then why didn't you invite me directly to go on a date? Ah that. Actually I didn't know if my plan was successful or not. I don't want to make you upset by giving you false hope. Oikawa gulped at his boyfriend's confession. Seely, how come I didn't trust a man like him? He thought bitterly. Well, it's more like I want to make this a surprise. By the way, Turu, are you done changing? We might get late for real. Wait, just a minute. Tadaya. Oikawa closed his closet door and grinned widely at Iwaizumi. Heifi. How do I look Iwa-chan? Iwaizumi's mouth opened slightly, amazed by his boyfriend's gorgeous sight. He gulped and averted his eyes away with reddened cheeks. It's fine. Iwaizumi mumbled quietly, making Oikawa huffed an annoyance. He peeked again at Oikawa who busy styling his hair. His gaze lowered to the man's collar. He gulped as he saw those sexy collarbones. Turu. Ham. Iwaizumi walked closer and buttoned up the shirt, then he leaned towards Oikawa's ears and smirked. If you try to seduce me, you better be prepared for tonight. Oikawa blushed. Iwa-chan. Come on, hurry up. Iwaizumi chuckled as he saw Oikawa grumbling with his red face. Ah wait Iwa-chan. He walked towards his desk and picked up the white box he prepared yesterday. Here. Your Valentine's gift. Iwaizumi eyed the box and smiled. Oikawa stopped the man from opening the box lid. Save it until later. Oikawa winked and snatched his fully charged phone. Iwaizumi snorted, he darted his eyes to a familiar paper bag on the desk. He turned away while grumbling. I don't like it. Huh? Oikawa followed the man's scowling gaze and chuckled. Iwa-chan don't tell me you're jealous with the gifts? Yeah I am. Oikawa shut his mouth, it's rare for Iwaizumi to admit that he's jealous. Well, today a lot of rare things happened. He giggled happily and cling on his man's shoulder. I'll give it back to them tomorrow. Still jealous. Idiot. Iwaizumi's ears tip are red, but he's too shy to admit he felt quite happy to hear Oikawa said it. Then they went outside the house. Oikawa cocked his head, confused. Who parked their car in front of my house? I did. Oikawa's eyes went wide. You you. I didn't know you have one though. So you can drive a car Iwa-chan? Yeah. This is my father's. Iwaizumi casually shrugged and opened the car door for Oikawa, then sat on the driver's seat. Whoa Iwa-chan, no wonder it's quite familiar. But I thought your father was super strict to lend his things. That's why I've been busy helping and running errands from him just to borrow this car. Oikawa's mouth gaped open. So that's why you've been so busy this week and always went home quickly. Yeah. 
Oikawa's eyes went glossy, as he's very touched. Iwa-chan. I love you. Oh, Oikawa. Don't hug me, it's dangerous I'm driving. Hey he. Oikawa laughed heartily, and retracted his hands from hugging his boyfriend. Iwa-Izumi smiled, satisfied to see Oikawa looked happy. Come to think of it, it's quite rare for coach to cancel our practice on Valentine's Day. I remembered we had practice last year, and today is Thursday. Iwaizumi's body stiffened, this gesture was caught by Oikawa, who looked at his man in shock. Don't tell me Iwa-chan. You planned that too. Iwaizumi nodded silently, a hint of blush on his cheeks. Oikawa was speechless, he truly had the most caring boyfriend in the world. I love you Hajim. Oikawa Turu I'm driving. Time skip. Whoa Iwa-chan. This is amazing. Iwaizumi snorted at Oikawa, who pulled him closer to the aquarium glass. Just for today, he'll let Oikawa do whatever he want, it's the whole purpose of coming here anyway. You remember what I said about going on aquarium date? Of course I did. You're like, nagging me for a week to fulfill your wish. Heifi. Oikawa took a bunch of photos, selfie, and Instagram story with Iwaizumi. Revenge for Maki, Matsun, and Yaba, to mislead him into thinking Iwa-chan cheated. They took a sit on their reserve table, and ordered their food. Both men looked awkward, as this is their first date, on such a fancy place. Huff, I think Matsun and Maki did this on purpose. Did what? Saying you're busy this weekend stuff, they show off their day too. I thought Maki knew I asked coach about a day off. And I talked with Matsun, about this plan, that's why I knew he wanted to confess today. Those troublemakers. They enjoyed their dinner and the scenery. Laughing as they saw replies from their friend, including their A.O. Johase's team and Karisuno's members. Even his most hated enemy, Ashijim replied, thinking Iwaizumi proposed. Thankfully he's not asking Oikawa to join Shirato Arzawa again. By the way Iwa-chan. Him. I thought you're gonna propose. Ahk. Uh Iwaizumi smacked his chest furiously, while Oikawa quickly offered him a drink. Iwa-chan I'm just kidding. How did you know? A. Iwaizumi scoffed and reached his man's palm. Then he took it closer to his lips, and kissed it gently. Not now, Toru. One day. Oikawa blushed, and nodded excitedly. Promise. Promise. Iwaizumi intertwined their pinky finger. Oh right, your gift. He searched for his back pocket and took out a red small box. Wait Iwa-chan you said not now. I'm not ready. What are you talking about shitty Kaoya? Iwaizumi rolled his eyes, and huffed at his boyfriend cute antics. However, it's a side of Oikawa, who made Iwaizumi fell all over again. It's a necklace. He opened the box, showing a simple golden necklace with their name initials on it. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Iwaizumi got up and put the necklace on his man's neck. Oikawa eyed, and touched the necklace, tearing up a bit. He glanced at Iwaizumi's neck, and found a similar one. Seriously Iwa-chan, it feels like you're proposing. Then I'll make sure to make it merrier than this. I'll be waiting. Both men smiled warmly at each other, hands holding tightly. Hajime. I love you. Iwa-izumi's heart beat faster. The light illuminated Oikawa's face which made him look even more dazzling. I'm so lucky he thought, almost tearing up. I love you more, Toru. They leaned in and sealed their moment with a kiss. Iwaizumi's hands wandered to Oikawa's waist, pulling him closer. Oikawa smiled into the kiss, and pulled his man's neck. It's just a short kiss, last for only a minute, but their eyes held a lot of story. The kiss was just a symbol of their passionate love for each other. Oikawa cuffed Iwaizumi's cheeks, and stroked his man's hair softly. Giggling as he never saw the man with his hair styled. Then he proceeded to kiss Iwaizumi's forehead down to his nose, and lastly his mouth. Mine. Iwaizumi did the same to his boyfriend. Each kiss was light but felt warm at the same time. He pulled the man into his embrace, and kiss Oikawa's hair. Mine. Dot. 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 Turu? Hem. Won't you reward me for tonight? Oh. Just say it and I'll grant whatever you want for your reward, for being the best boyfriend. Iwaizumi smirked, and leaned towards the man's ears. How about the idea of not sleeping tonight? That's all for this part 3, which is the last part of this story. But I made a plan to make an extra chapter but restricted for above 18 years old because it will contain smooth. If you like the idea, please comment below so I will make the extra part. 
Don't forget to turn on the notification on my channel for the next video. Please subscribe and like the video if you haven't done it yet. See you on the next video!